What's up, YouTube? Serious Hydro Spy here with Dave Pendergrass. He just uh, made it to finals, just beat me in top four, running a really aggressive water dark light deck. You want to talk a little bit about it before we get into the deck? Yeah, list? of course. Um, I got the idea from Robert Hay Bear and his team, Cyberworld Games. Um, Todd Anderson had just recently taught to Virginia Romano. So we were just discussing what decks that I wanted to, to play. So CPH and I were talking on Facebook and we decided that we don't like big ass control, we don't like the inconsistencies of dragons. So we decided that we really like the build that Todd Anderson and Jerry Thompson and Bobby Bear, Joe Bass, they all built the deck. So we decided that I was going to run it in Montreal because I didn't know what I was really to expect. Um, I played a lot of rush decks, I played control decks, I played everything today. Um, my hardest matchup, they were all a lot of hard matchups, but um, ultimately, so far in the top two, we haven't played the finals yet. But, um, so just some changes that I made from the Roanoke list. Um, three Squillies. Squillache, however you want to say it. This card was the MVP all day. This best card, card in the game. It's literally the best card in the game. I don't care about Haven. I don't care about anything else. This card steals games. You should not win. Um, it is true. So a couple other changes from the deck. There's basically a very, very close copy to what Todd Anderson's build was in Rona. So the only change that I really made was we up Squillace to three, uh, Squillace. Um, Todd was running it at two. He was running three Screechings. I cut Screeching down to two just because I could be a little bit earlier, aggr aggressive earlier with the scams. Lost Patrol. Lost Patrol is a great turn three play, just huge. And I never got the progression, but turn two stamp and the turn three loss patrol and the turn three four keep it laws is just literally the greatest thing in the world. But I didn't get it unfortunately, but I did get enough piercing judgments early in hand that I could just pretty much wreck the ace by bouncing everything, keep the tempo on my side. Um, General Finbar was a, probably his second MVP all day. Yeah. Um, I'm dropping Keeper of Laws and I'm dropping Finbar. I'm coming in for shields. I'm drawing upon attacking. And if he had a shield box, I'm getting a plus twoing off of this. Probably so, two and drawing was fine all day. Um, I didn't really play too, too many aggressive decks. Um, my first couple rounds, I played a couple aggressive decks, so they came in clutch there. But most of the time, I was just dropping Squirrels all day. Um, Bottle didn't really do anything for me. It didn't hit Squillace or anything, it didn't bother me. It just hit stuff that was useful, like a Lost Patrol on turn 5 when I didn't have any creatures to play. But, um, Bloom Hollow was probably a little underwhelming, if anything. Um, I don't know what I would switch it out for. It's just nice because it's a blocker that can combat rush and attack. So, I mean, he, he did do some work in some early games with Finbar again, just drawing me cards in the early game. Even I can bounce off their three level, level 3 blockers and just draw cards. So. Um, other than that, everything's pretty standard. Three paint, three bone blades. Like I said, the two screeching. Another change that we made to the deck, and Paul and I were actually discussing this on the way up here, um, we didn't like the multi-count in the, in the build because he was running 12 multi saves in a 40 card deck and I did not want to get mastered. So I took a page out of Matt Robinson's book, Draw the Turn, um, and I ran Rain Cloud Krakens over the Strider. Um, ultimately because the 4000 doesn't make too, too much of a difference. So having this as solid yellow mana every turn was awesome because I can just progress into my turns a lot easier. Because if I'm not hitting my early turn progressions, I'm going to lose to control because they can get to turn 9 very quickly. So other than that, the three ring collar Krakens, instead of Strider, I cut down on multi counts by three. I was able to go to uh, three Squillace, I ran nine multi saves, three Squillace, three piercing, three lost patrol, which I think is right. Um, and then everything else is pretty basic. Three Keeper Laws, three Lyra, which is still really good despite what people say. And then two in drama, like I said, was pretty fine all day. I don't have a problem with too much rush. I can just counter that early game with my early game. And then Scamp is just nuts because he draws your cards with fin bars and replaces himself if he gets removed. Neptis put in random work against the random one of the random one of Neptis. Um, we talked about going it for two, but we decided not to. But random one of they put in work like one or two games, so I can't really ask for much more from a one of. Um, other than that, that's about it. So that's the deck profile, guys. Hope you enjoyed. It's 40 cards. Uh, good luck to Dave in the finals. Hopefully, you can take one home for America. 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 Peace out, guys. Texas.